Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the latest version of the wireless microphone system from Kameka. Uh, it comes in a little package like this with two of these transmitters. One I have up here, the other one is up here. And this is the Boom XD Pro version, which is the updated version of the last one that they released in 2020, which was the Boom XD. Now the biggest improvement in this version is that uh, you can now do internal backup recording on the two transmitters to the uh, built-in 8 gigabyte memory, which will give you around 24 hours of recording. This system also allows you uh, both analog and digital outputs, meaning uh, that you can connect the receiver, which right now I have on top of my camera, uh, using the provided analog cables and they give you all the cables for all the different cameras, also for your smartphone or for your laptop. Uh, or computer, but you can also use the USB-C because all of these actually come with a USB port. The transmitters you use this to both copy the data and you can also copy using the USB-C the high data transmission rate, uh, which just means you can copy the files quicker. Uh, but the transmitter uh, also has the USB-C port and that you can use to connect it digitally to your smartphone or your laptop. And now for that, you would need to get a cable. That one is not provided, but otherwise all the other cables are provided. And actually one thing that I like about this whole kit is that even for the charging, they give you one USB uh, type B, basically, you know, uh, cable. And then on the other side, it's, it splits into three USB-C cables. So you just need one, uh, basically, USB charging device to be able to, to charge all of the, both of the transmitters and the receiver. Now, right now we have quite a bit of wind, so hopefully the little built-in uh, microphone uh, screen here, the little furry thing that you see, it protects it. And we'll see how that sounds. Obviously, I can't hear it myself right now, uh, but this is the audio that you're hearing from. So, you know, me talking actually into this transmitter. And this works, you know, like all the other sort of compact wireless microphone systems out there, whether like the original, you know, Rode Wireless Go, or the updated version, some of the other contenders out there. Uh, is that in, you can take the transmitters and you can just clip them onto your clothing or somewhere you know within vicinity of, of the person speaking or the sound that you want to record uh, and it has a built-in microphone capsule in there but if you also want there's a microphone connection here so you can just simply uh, plug it to this now when it comes to the design of the transmitters you have here on one side the power slash mute button uh, and also you have your pairing button uh, on the other side you have your record button and that's actually one thing that I wish that the Rode Wireless Go did or maybe they can do an update where you can trigger the internal recording using one of the buttons up here. So this one you just press and hold it for three seconds and we'll start the internal recording and that also means that you can stop it and you can have multiple recordings versus the Rode Wireless Go, uh, if you've used it, you know that the second you turn on the transmitters, it just starts recording for you. But for me, the main problem with that is that then when I get those huge files into my computer, I have to look for the moments that I actually care about as opposed to all the junk that it records in between. I also have a USB-C uh, plug up here. So you, like I said, you can use this for copying all the uh, the recordings, their internal recordings, or also for, you know, for charging the built-in lithium-ion battery. The battery up here will last you basically a few days and never ran out uh, all the way with the, with the batteries up here. And then on the top, like I said, you have the microphone input. So you can plug in any standard lavalier microphone with a three and a half millimeter jack. As far as the receiver goes, it's very similar to the transmitters in size and weight. Uh, on the side, you have three buttons for power and then also for adjusting the volume of the two transmitters. Uh, on the top, you have your audio out, so you can use that to plug it into your camera or computer or whatever it is that you're going to use to record the audio. Uh, you also have a headphone jack, so you can monitor the audio before it goes into your recording device. And then on the side, uh, you have your USB-C connection, which you can use uh, for charging the, the receiver. Uh, also, the, both the, the transmitters and the receiver have a nice, clear, easy-to-see color digital display that uh, shows you all the information that you need. Now, another feature that Kameka added, which I like in this version of their system, is that obviously you have your stereo or mono recording options, but you also have a safety track recording option. So in a case, for example, like right now, where I'm really using only one uh, transmitter, so I'm recording on one channel, I can, like I said, have that be duplicated on both left and the right, so recording in standard mono, or I can use that uh, a second track 
to basically record a few decibels lower so in case a really loud sound comes in or something like that you have basically the two tracks recorded the left and the right channel but one is going to be your regular volume the other one's going to be a little bit quieter so hopefully you can recover any of the the clipped uh, audio now the working distance for this is uh, or the advertised working distance is up to uh, 100 meters or around 328 feet Again, that's a perfect open line of sight and you know, no interference with the signal. The system actually uses a 2.4 gigahertz signal. And I don't know, hopefully you guys can hear me right now because I have a bird right there that just decided to come and sing for all of us. Uh, but anyways, uh, like I was saying, so this system uses 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency. So it means you can use it worldwide without any worries. But now, right now to actually test uh, the long range working distance of the system, I'm gonna walk back there and we'll see how the audio is, how it cuts off. And also pay attention to when I turn around away from the camera and then that means that the transmitter now has to go through my body there. Uh, and then as a backup, I'm gonna actually click the little recording here. All right, now it's recording as a backup, but right now I'm just gonna let you guys hear the actual audio that's being transmitted from here and then if I do ever switch the internal recordings, just so you guys can hear how it sounds, uh, then I'm going to put it up in the, in the corner here of the screen. Anyways, right now I'm going to walk back and uh, we'll test the long range distance. So. so right now I'm walking with basically facing with my back towards the camera. So the transmitter is going through my body. Uh, okay, this is around 100 feet according to Google Earth. So this is 100 feet away. This is how it sounds. Uh, hopefully you guys hear me. You should be able to hear me. It's pretty, like I said, it's open line of sight. There's really no signal interference. Uh, and anyway, so I'm going to walk up a bit further now and let you guys hear it there. All right, I'm 150 feet here. This is 150 feet away from the camera. This is how it sounds now, open line of sight. Uh, and this is how it sounds when I turn around. Also, we got a lot of wind here now, kind of full gust of wind coming in and out. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep on walking further. All right, now I'm 300 feet away. So 300 feet away, open line of sight, this is how it sounds. Uh, and I have no idea again until I'm actually there editing the footage, but hopefully you guys can hear me. Maybe I'll right now. Just let and I'm facing with my back. Around like almost 400 feet away. So 400 feet away. This is how it sounds. This is open line of sight. Anyways, I'm going to be coming back now. And this is 300 feet away. This is how it sounds. And now I'm at 200 feet away. This is how it sounds. 200 feet away, open line of sight. Now, just so you guys can hear, I'm again going to switch here uh, to the internal recording. This is how it sounds. Just so you guys can hear the difference. Normally, uh, right now, basically when I switch, <laughs> I'm recording internally on the Sony a7S III. So it's decent recording inside the camera, right? Uh, now maybe also let me try on their lav microphone that they give you. Just so this way you guys can hear how their lav microphone sound. Now obviously keep in mind that you can use any lav microphone. So if you have another one that you already own or you have a preference for, you can still plug that into the system. Uh, by the way, yeah, the whole thing comes with this uh, little travel case. It's sort of a, a padded hard case. You can easily fit in there two transmitters and the receiver. This is their lavalier microphone that I provide. It has a little windscreen also. And I'm just going to clip it on here. All right, so now you guys can hear what it sounds like uh, when I'm recording it through the lav microphones that uh, Kamika provides. I just have it clicked into here. And actually one thing I like about uh, their transmitters is that both the microphone capsule is, uh, you know, they give you this little windscreen and uh, when you put it on there it's a very simple system it's basically just this you know rubber sort of a, a, a ring outside and you just slide it under and it stays really strong it keeps the the transmitter under uh, or the the windscreen depending uh, another thing i like is that the lav microphones that they provide actually comes with this little thing here uh, on the side basically that clips in to the actual receiver meaning that it's it's not, never gonna detach on its own until you actually release it by pressing that little clip on the side. 
Also, I wanted to let you guys know that until the end of this month or until May 30th, you have a chance to enter the 2022 MSI Creator Awards. Uh, and for entering, you have a chance to win uh, one of the many cool products that MSI releases, whether it's their laptops, desktop computers, monitors, graphics cards, and, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, for all the info, follow the link in the description of this video. Uh, I also uh, am actually participating in the, in the awards, not by actually entering myself, but by being one of the judges. I'll be judging the film category, and I created sort of a sample entry that uh, kind of hopefully inspires you guys and makes you want to enter. You basically have to submit a short video. Again, for all the info, just uh, follow the, the link in the description of this video. But quickly, let me show you my sort of a sample entry. Uh, so this little commercial that I created, the sort of a, like a you know example commercial you could say for their desktop uh, machine, uh, and I actually used that same computer to edit this video and do uh, a whole bunch of special effects in this, which are kind of almost, I call them invisible effects, uh, things that allowed me to shoot the video really quickly and then sort of correct the certain of these problems that I had uh, while shooting this all by myself on a low budget. And if you guys want to see the behind the scenes of how I shot this uh, little example entry and how I did the effects and all that stuff, then there's actually a, a nice in-depth tutorial on the MSI uh, website, which again, follow the link in the description of this video for all of that. Uh, and remember, until May 30th, you have a chance to enter and win some really, really cool prices. Uh, and when it comes to the Kamika XD Pro, uh, version, their latest version of their wireless microphone system. Also, if you guys want to find out all the information of where you can get it, uh, latest prices and deals and all that stuff, then uh, as always, uh, check the info in the description of the video, or even better, go to my website at tomantasfilms.com, uh, where you're going to find all of that info and a whole lot more. Uh, that's it. My name is Tom Antos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.